if you are somebody who is looking for real credible medical information from a colorectal surgeon looking up for all the issues including your gut health this is absolutely the episode for you to watch if you don't have the issues by yourself if your family members are dealing with any of these issues this is a podcast with so much information i learned a lot as well i'm sure you will as well let's dive deep into it what is piles piles are piling up of blood vessels avla da anal cushions Chai. are there in the anal canal mm. because of friction mm. because of constipation mm. because of old age maybe because of cirrhosis of liver you know mm. this will bulge in size that piling of a blood vessels mm. is piled all that so that area is supplied with blood vessels, ah, blood vessels because we talked about how important that yeah, is yeah yeah so piles is a condition where ah. the blood vessels gets bigger yeah bigger 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 okay bigger. Mm. so piles uh, there was one uh, patient cm in karnataka i mean mm. sorry in india india cm mm. one cm some state uh, that particular cm was in jail mm. and he underwent a cardiac procedure mm. for that uh, they told okay go and uh, he went back to jail mm. for many times they applied for bail <laughs> he did not get it honestly he got piles in jail then they went to the court he has got piles the court gave bail bail mm. oh, piles is so painful painful so when the blood vessels dilate ah. it impinge on the nerve supply ha 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 right ah, yeah uh, and then what can this dilated blood vessels do what are yeah. the complications see grade 1 okay mm. the pile is inside mm. Great to means the pile will come out of the anal canal and go in. They can actually see a growth outside. Ha! It will come out uh, and go in. Go in. Mm. Great three is uh, it will come out. Uh, it will not go in. Uh, they have to push in the hand. I've seen that as well. Mm. Great four is uh, it will come out completely. Even if you push, it doesn't go inside. That is the time you lose battles in life. So you said complications. Mm. People have bled to death Seriously? in the villages. bleeding 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 and hypovolemic shock sometimes he pc patients with hemoglobin 3 4 5 coming sir i've got because piles. the blood vessels keeps bleeding, bleeding hemoglobin bleeding. goes See, whenever down whenever you pass tools friction opens up bleeds that's all so this is lower gi bleed out due to piles you mm. know but is bled to death in villages i have seen actually mm. yeah i come from a typical village background mm. that's what yeah. mm. so let's say i have a uh, constipation mm. should i have to come to you as soon as i have pain in that area exactly mm. see people anything they have in the anal canal mm. pain mm. bleeding burning itching swelling mm. abscess mm. predominantly about 75 to 80% come sir i have piles mm. anything in the anal canal people think it is piles mm. your question i have constipation and pain in the anal canal correct you have to seek medical advice mm. that pain can be anything it may be as simple as a fissure right it may be as complex as a rectal cancer how do you prevent piles uh sir i was um, you know last 2 3 4 months in india something is trending work for 70 long hours a week somebody says work on a sunday also yeah i totally endorse them Yes, we should work for seventy long hours. Work on a Sunday also, which I do. But don't sit for a long time in a place for more than one hour. More than one hour. Seventy hours. If you sit and uh, work, uh, he will end up in smiles. Sir, sir um, long sitting hours is one of the causes. Can you explain to me uh, why sitting more than one hour can cause piles? Because of gravity. Mm. You know, animals don't have piles. Human beings too limbed. Gravity. They develop piles. One. Uh, when they sit these fellows it professionals they don't drink water they don't eat food uh, even if they eat food online order panit ange the table alle they will do pizza burger uh, dominis all those things uh, lifestyle sitting in the place for a long time eating food with less fiber eating junk food eating roadside food putting pressure while passing stool spending too much of time in the washroom mobile mobile ipad so using mobile in the bathroom can worsen the constipation exactly. and increase risk of piles yes yes because they sit for a long time because of gravity you know it keeps on going down the pressure you know something even i start uh, my day with mobile in the washroom you know what kind of messages sir sir you operated me 15 days back my stool is thin my stool is hard my stool is red my stool shape is changed the little stool i'm getting but i'm happy early morning messages or these messages for me <laughs> in my washroom i message about their shit they say good morning yeah that's a good morning <laughs> that's my morning routine that's right morning routine okay second thing is uh, you ask me causes no 
a lot of thing trending in social media about morning routine mm. morning routine should be you no know, relaxed uh, reading uh, yoga uh, gym uh, playing all these things uh, people are trying to pack too many things in one hour so disturbed morning routines uh. mm. then these youngsters have seen in this time why piles you told no mm. prevention no uh. many people go to this gym uh, body building correct muscle building uh. they come to me and tell sir i take some whey protein mm. some protein bars mm. some protein shakes some creatine protein wafers every fellow taking this has come with me to piles 100 out of 100 people so in your experience this uh, protein supplements increase uh, the risk of piles not only piles sir uh, imagine you are a you are a gastroenterologist the protein supplements not only piles it will impact the whole system i am going a different take on this uh, yes it it can cause hemorrhage and piles mm. because it slows down the gi motility because most of the times what happens is people will not be able to handle that much amount of protein exactly uh but the protein requirement is already very low very in low. indian community yeah, so yeah. we do recommend you know like if you are not able to meet your protein requirement through whole foods yeah. it is okay to take protein supplements supplements but the most important thing that what i see in my practice is they develop constipation constipation leads to pile sir Correct. constipation is mother of all diseases Correct. so constipation is one thing which will disturb every human being in his day to day activities yeah of course it doesn't move the bowel day is gone that's uh, uh, i think one of the most important point is um, in protein supplements in gym building mm-hmm. muscle mm-hmm. building mm-hmm. one of the most important thing is constipation yeah. is a side effect yes, yes, of yes. all these protein supplements yes. but if you get it mm. either you decrease the dosage of the protein powder yeah. or you increase the fiber intake yes, yes. and seek medical attention yes, if yes, you have yes, any constipation yes, yes. super yeah, sir yeah. so one uh, thing that we really want to focus upon mm-hmm. is women's ha women uh, yeah, yeah, yeah you know many people especially in your practice yeah. uh, you must have seen colorectal issues like yeah. constipation yeah, yeah. very uh, common fistula, after childbirth yeah is there any relation between childbirth and uh, postpartum you, a, you asked me a very 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 good question now see out of 10 women who come to my clinic uh, six women they say i have pies Mm. and they say i was operated earlier two times three times again i'm getting mm. see what happens during delivery and childbirth is in india you know the stature of women mm. you know the nourishment of women mm. and uh, if there is a big baby mm. more than 3 kg mm. and if it is a full time normal delivery delivered in villages delivered in home mm. delivered in institutions people insist on normal delivery normal delivery ah. yes good it is but while delivering that 3.5 kg baby 3.8 kg baby narrow pel- pelvis narrow the baby comes out of the birth canal mm. while coming out in the pelvis in the front you have urinary bladder in the middle u- uterus i sit in the back correct my correct. my area is in back so when they after delivery what happens is they started developing constipation mm. they will not pass tools for one or two days and it's very difficult for them some people put their finger and remove the stools some people do this kind of manipulation uh. some people go to different doctors they keep on changing laxatives uh. nothing works mm. why along with the birth canal the rectum has come down it is called as intra rectal intersusception mm. and rectocele so the rectum is coming out of the ah, rectum within rectum mm. intersusception okay and recto seal along with that urinary bladder also comes down so you're telling that prolonged labor ha ah, right obstructed labor obstructed labor prolonged labor big baby big baby ha ah, mm. delivery by uh, trained dais in the villages mm. they delivery by untrained untrained dais mm. in fact in the hands of a very very good professional also delivering a 3.5 kg baby 3.8 kg is not easy mm. so this will bring down the pelvic floor relaxation so this is why they say they will prom- they will offer c section ha and then people say that you are prof- you are offering c section for money ha so that this is, is the, the problem, discrepancy yeah, 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 yeah. so prolonged labor can cause colorectal issues mm. and they'll may come to you after the procedure yes, after yes, childbirth yes yes i'll tell a story one lady came to me she was a executive engineer in government of karnataka The moment she sat on my chair, she started crying. Mm. Sir, forty-one years, sir, I have not passed to passed comfortably, sir. Forty-one long years, every day I have to remove it, sir. Mm. I have twenty-three doctors, sir. My husband has given up on me. There is a saying: uh, every day, if you cry, uh, every day people die. Who will cry for you? Mm. There is a saying like that. She came alone, started crying. 
when i went into her life this was the problem then we did an mri diffugram mm. we saw there was a recto seal we saw there was a cysto seal we did a repair of pelvis rectum next day morning sir 41 years i passed my stools comfortably sir nice you are my god sir nice this issue of obstructive defecation syndrome it is called mm, mm. it is not addressed by any maybe few colorectal surgeons mm. in the country mm. diagnose that that and address that address it why means because there is no proper training, training. including me i didn't have proper training mm. in the undergraduate days mm. and all mm. so women develop during pregnancy also why because of iron supplements iron supplements can cause constipation yes mm. so when it causes constipation it can cause fissure correct when it causes fissure repeatedly it can cause sentinel piles mm. when there is a fissure they can get an abscess so the repeated constipation they can get piles so you have seen colorectal issues during pregnancy yes mm. during pregnancy pe mothers come and tell do people sir, come to you yeah sir about it sir about it huh? yeah about it there is a story a lot of stories on our channel sir about it sir i don't sir i can't take this pain because of the rectal pain ha. the mom is asking to about the baby yeah that's how painful it this is this is how people have told stories on the channel that painful it will be yeah mm. even our enemy should not gain the rectal pain yeah, yeah of course i don't have enemies mm. <laughs> okay they say that okay so uh, during pregnancy one is iron supplements mm. second thing is progesterone hormone increases mm. there is vasodilatation Correct. already existing piles it will exaggerate mm. then the fetus pressure going up to the anal canal Correct. so all these three factors during pregnancy also it will cause mm. constipation so one thing from a gastroenterology standpoint we always say the fiber intake should be like 35 40 grams per day yeah. especially during pregnancy yeah. to make sure that they, they yes. doesn't have constipation but more than that yeah. they'll promote the good gut bacteria when the baby comes from the vaginal canal it will swallow ah uh, swallow yeah, the you said no uh i saw your wellness program ha ah. wellness begins in the womb correct i tell wellness is from womb to tomb womb to tomb Huh? No, of course that's why you can prevent illness yeah that's why you yeah, can prevent bacteria illness. no gut bacteria from there it starts to prevent any kind of any alzheimer's parkinson mm. anything you name that's over this so pregnancy during delivery post delivery women have got issues if any woman has got these issues and has got piles we have to think in we go to deep into the life and ask mm. normal delivery ah. wait evlo uh, nichi mm. what is the weight of the baby, baby. how what time you entered hospital and what time you got delivered Deliver. if they tell sir i took 24 hours naka guaranteed okay. prolonged labor obstructed labor problem with the defecation purpose this is with women yeah wow 